Hello, welcome to the leaf map tutorial series. Uh, in the last video, I already showed you how to create vector data interactively without coding. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to edit the vector data. So assume that you already have some existing vector data and you want to edit the data uh, using Python and uh, Jupyter. So I'm going to show you how to do like uh, step by step. First, let's go to the website leafmap.org and then on the left side here, notebooks. So we're going to download the novel example we're going to use. Uh, scroll down and then find number 46, edit uh, vector. Once you're here, you can click the upper right corner to download the notebook to your computer. So I'm going to download this one to my downloads folder. Uh, once it's downloaded uh, to the downloads folder, then you can uh, open that one using your Jupyter notebook. So I'm going to just simply um, open the terminal and then just contact activate. Uh, geo so that's the conda environment um, we created last time and then just type jupyter lab or jupyter notebook uh, whichever you uh, prefer and once it's open uh, you should be able to on the left side uh, to find the notebook so on here just double click and as you can see uh, this is a very simple example if you don't um, if you don't have a jupyter notebook installed on your computer you can just simply uh, click the icon here launch by a binder this one you should be able to open this one interactively uh, without installing anything on your computer so but the downside is that uh, it might take a couple minutes to uh, load up um, for the google collab uh, although you see the icon this one does not specifically uh, compatible with google collab yet so uh, you won't be able to see, use this one uh, anyway so let's come back to here uh, let's look at this uh, noble example so uh, first of all, you will need to make sure that you install the latest version. So if you haven't installed, uh, you can just pip install. And after that, you can import a uh, leaf map. Uh, you can just simply use this one. The reason I use uh, from leaf map to uh, import leaf map is uh, to basically build their documentation website uh, on GitHub. So I will need to put this one. Otherwise, by default, it's going to use the Folium uh, back backend. So uh, Folium does not support what we are trying to do here. But uh, if you're running this one on your local computer, uh, then you can just directly use uh, import notebook. So next, uh, you can create a map. So in this case, we're just going to create a simple interactive map and to center around, for example, this is uh, San Francisco. And then uh, you can add the base map uh, hybrid, but you are also welcome to use the base map icon here. Yeah, uh, you can change to any base map uh, you like. Uh, so you can change, to, oh, so you might need to, um, uh, uncheck this one so then you can uh, select other base map so once you have the the data then there are a couple ways you can uh, open the vector data so uh, if you want to do that just using a couple lines code you can do it like this so the function is very simple uh, map dot uh, ad vector so from here you can pass in an url or you can a uh, file pass to, uh, uh, store on your local computer so in this case we're just going to simply uh, use this one um, but you, also, you can also download this one to a computer so if you want to find the vector data you can also go to the uh, the github website and then from here examples data so you should be able to find a bunch of uh, sample data so in this case uh, in this example we use the uh, training samples data as you can see here uh, you can actually uh, preview the data set and then all you need to do is just click uh, raw data and then right click save as so you should be able to save this one to a computer uh, but for this example you don't really have to because you can just simply pass the url but <clears throat> so basically it's this one make sure that you pass in this url and then from here you just pass the url into the ad uh, uh, vector uh, function so we can just execute take a look now you see all the polygons have been loaded here and next um this is where we're going to do so we're going to edit the vector data and as you can see on the left side here we have the toolbar so you need to click this one edit uh, layer so once you click you will see all the polygons uh, you see all the vertices uh, basically uh, become active so basically these are all the anchor points and you're welcome to move for example i can move this one i can move here you can move whatever points so as you can see you can also add another point right if i click somewhere here uh, it should add another point drag the angle or edit the features uh, yeah so for example here you when you see the marker if you click it's going to add right so this one 
the uh, red to the bright color this one is more like transparent uh, is the basically the point does not exist yet but you can click to add basically add the one at the center so now you see for example i can move this one a little bit i can move this one really right so this is how you need to edit uh the shapes and you might notice that for example uh, all the polygons that become active so this is also a limitation if your vector data is like a very complicated has uh, uh, thousands of tens of thousands of points uh, it probably might not work in this case it's going to be very slow so uh, this is right now the limitation but uh, at least it works for some simple data set so I'm going to save the data right and so once you have this edit so we only edited the geometry but we can also edit the, uh, the attribute I'm going to show you uh, shortly but for now let's assume that okay you only want to edit the geometry and once you have finished editing you just need this last line of code save dual features and then from here you can pass to the file name right so if you don't have a file pass it's going to save to your current working directory but you can for example to your uh, whatever pa file pass you want so let's just execute this one and then on the left side here you will see the data geojson and this one you can save to shape file or uh, geo package uh, so uh, some of the geo pandas uh, format uh, that you want and then you can double click on the left side you should be able to see that the file is being saved to your computer if you want to double check see for example whether the file uh, has been saved correctly or not you can go to the toolbar icon and then click the open vector so i'm going to open this one back to uh is it under the here so uh geotation and then select right you should be able to see uh, this is the one we saved and then click select right it apply uh, now you see okay exactly overlay this one but uh, you can also see the attribute right so you can move uh, you will see notice that on the right side here the attribute table actually being updated automatically right so they align perfectly so this is how you can actually uh, uh, edit the data but uh, if you want to change uh, to double check them uh, to turn the layer on and off uh, this one right now you need to activate to add the layers control by default uh, leafmate does not add the layers control so this is the customized one if you want it you can go to uh, this line here when you create the map so i'm just going to comma and then just layers underscore control equal to force right it uh layers oh to two not force two right so now you see this one you we we have the um you can turn the uh, uh this one here you can turn the layer on and off and so next when we edit the uh, geojson you should be able to see that one okay uh okay and then we can open the data again uh, geojson data right right okay so now you, if you want you can turn this one on and off right so this is how you can uh edit the vector data of course you can just clear all the polygons right so you want to use clear uh, they're all gone here right so this is how you uh edit the vector data just the geometry if you want to edit the attribute table you can also do that so i'm just going to create a new map again right so if you want to edit interactively without using the um the uh, right the, the example we used earlier then you can just go to the toolbar icon and then click the one here on the uh, lower left corner uh, create or a vector data so once this one is open you will see here uh, it's pretty simple you can first um, sometimes if this is too big you can um, uh, hide this one if you want so you can also close you can just open it again right so first you need to open the data so go into this one open uh, we're going to use the same training data set right once it's open it's going to be loaded so this step is exactly the same just like this one so the uil but this uh, earlier this one used the the, the 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 file store on the web but uh, this time we opened that one uh, that from a local computer so if you have uh you can open geojson you can open swapi or geo package or pretty much any um uh, vector data that you want to um open so for example if you select again oh uh, i think i select apple let me open again open the training data okay so once it is open then uh it's up to you uh you can add the geometry you can add a new polygon you can add a new shape or you can also edit the geometry so first 
let me quickly show you they say okay i want to create a new uh training sample uh, somewhere around here you can just use that to create one and then double click so once it's double click you will see the attribute table here is automatically refreshed so basically it's going to get uh, the existing columns from those existing polygons so for example we have this three but you're also welcome to uh, create to add more if you need it so for example four five six it's up to you how many uh, um, uh, XP you want to add right so in this case we don't want to add any one we can just keep the three so here I'm going to do the same thing the color uh, is going to be blue uh, the type is maybe water and then the ID whatever ID right it doesn't really matter and then he enter uh, it makes sure that either you click apply once it's applied then this uh the polygon uh the attribute has been assigned to this polygon right so this is how you can create a uh, new polygon but you can also edit existing one so all you need to do just click the edit layer right and then you can come to here you can drag you can see right if you want to create a new one you just create a new one create a new uh a new one right and then you can also move this around uh whatever you like so this one is basically edit the geometry just like what we did earlier just click save it's going to be saved and once it's saved you will see uh, this one is also automatically refreshed uh, if you want to edit the attribute table you can click in to fill the new values or you can click the refresh button to get attribute so uh, assume that you already have some columns already have values but you only want to edit one of them you don't want to re override all of them so you can just refresh you will see uh, it's going to retrieve the value from this existing polygon and now you can decide okay i maybe to change the number change the area whatever uh, you want to add right and hit apply and then just apply then that means this one this value has been changed it has been added right so again if you want to edit more i can change this i can change the shape and then hit save again refresh this one it's going to get the value and then you can change the value for whatever column uh, you want to change and then apply that's it so this is how you can edit the shape and also edit uh, the attribute table once you're done with all the editing then you can click this button uh, save to file it's the same as this one save draw features so if you want to use uh, coding you can use this line if you want to use this uh, graphical in uh, user interface you can just click this one <coughs> then save so here you can save to whatever file format uh, so i can change to for example a swap file so i can just ssp right you will notice that if you the file extension is not supported this one is grayed out so that means it's invalid so you need to fix it fix it uh geojson uh it should be fine geojson right or you can just ssp or you can uh, gpkg right uh, geo package so those are the three format that supported and then so this is uh, for example i'm going to use the doc shp select and it's going to show you it has been saved to this one on the left side here you should notice that okay uh, they have been uh, saved to the computer here and so next <clears throat> if you want to double check but right, just to verify whether the data <clears throat> attribute has been um changed or uh, correctly or not you can open the data back right so open and then so we are going to open the uh, shape file that we edited okay so this one that and then apply yeah so you can see now it's over there exactly <clears throat> you can also <clears throat> excuse me verify the attribute table right so on the left side here this one uh, look at the uh, low right corner here it's going to update attribute right so this one uh four forty five fifty five right it's exactly what we edited earlier right so the same and these are all the existing uh, polygons so if you don't need this one you can um, uh, minimize uh, if you don't need it uh, anymore you can just close right so this shows you a way that you can uh, edit the vector data right and so this is the one uh, but if you don't need the polygon anymore i can just clear it out and then it will only the uh, the shape file the uh, vector data uh, layer right so this is how you can uh, edit the vector data easily without coding again uh, this is for simple data set if you have a data set that has millions of points uh, it's probably not going to work because uh, by default uh, ipad display activate all the points so you it uh, might be too crowded but for small sample data set uh, it works very well
Okay, so that's all for uh, this video. I hope you find it useful and I will see you in the next uh, video. Take care. Bye-bye.